they interrogated me <laughs> and then they they made me undress yeah. They did, honestly. You serious? How are you, bro? Morning, guys, from Munnar, Kerala, India. I'm nearly getting run over. But uh, yeah, today we're going to be moving city. I feel like I'm moving all the time now. I had a really good time in Munnar, but uh, all good things must come to an end. And so we're on onwards and upwards to the next destination. And I'm with Saya. Chalo, Saya. Chalo. Chalo, Saya. Thank you, Vazu Vadan. Thank you very much, sir. Kochi, three hours flight to Delhi. And then arrive in Delhi. We have no hotel, hotel booked. We're on the search for a hotel with good Wi Fi. I called 10 hotels last night and they all had terrible Wi Fi. So, inshallah, we find a good hotel. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to explore a bit of Delhi. So, I'm really excited. First time in Delhi and it's the capital. So, I'm really excited to get there. Um, so, yeah. Chalo, guys. Apiamo. Vamos. Let's go. Yalla. <laughs> Yalla. Wow, five languages. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Olas. Thank, Thank you very much. Nice to meet you guys. As you can see, guys. This area of Kerala and Kerala in general is absolutely beautiful and I'm kind of sad to be leaving uh, but yeah it's seriously beautiful feels like honestly a night and day difference compared to um, the other places I've been to in India in terms of just so different scenery different people and different activities to do different language it's incredible okay guys a little pit stop we're about an hour into the journey oh it's stretch oh my back just cracked Oh, it's kind of sunny, but we're stopping for a little dosa, dosa hunt. If you guys seen my video in Kochi, I had the nicest meal ever, and it was a dosa. So, hello, namaskar. Uh, please may I have the uh, watermelon nasi and uh, water. Watermelon juice. Okay. Watermelon juice. Okay, and uh, just a wa water, water, normal water. Cheese. Oh, seasoning. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Which is the best one? Butter or masala? Which one would you recommend? Butter dosa. Masala. No masala. Plain butter and dosa. Let's try the butter. butter. Okay, you. thank you. I got uh, masala dosa last time, so we'll try butter this time. Get yeah, switch it up a little bit. Hello. Hello. Can I can I film? Oh wow! Look at this. That's how they get the flies. We're in the kitchen. Sukumano, brother. What are you cooking? Chicken roast. Chicken roast. Oh, that looks so good. Wow. Look at all the spices. Uh, Can I smell? Chili, red chili powder. Red chili powder. Woo! Spicy. Turmeric, chicken masala, black pepper, salt. Wow. That's sauce. it, guys. This is like what the English just don't do. They don't have like these spices. And so when I come home, I'm going to be having so much more spices or just like make a meal and look around. We're surrounded it a chef in the jungle with uh, local ingredients cooked. The smells in that kitchen is obviously incredible. Palm trees, coconut trees, ignore the power line, but wow. Zabadas. This pond a rabbit. Zabadas, brother. Very beautiful. And we've got all the vegetables here. Oh, cinnamon. Cinnamon's nice. Great work, guys. You deserve a raise. And uh, I'll start on Monday then. I start on Monday. I, I will be starting work on Monday. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm joking. <laughs> they don't understand my stupid English humor. I was like... It's time for you to slam it, Si. You're behind. Get rid of that. And another, and another watermelon juice in process. This is what Matt does. <laughs> He's gonna die from That's that. That's the fa fastest I've ever done anything. Yeah, that thing went down pretty quick. <laughs> Holy crap, that thing is huge. What the hell? <laughs> Holy crap, that's the biggest food item I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you did not expect this. <laughs> wow. This is so, like, just so unique. Like, I've never seen anything like that in my life. <laughs> that's like half a meter, bro. <laughs> what kind of food is, like, this big? So, it's interesting. It kind of, like, looks like an omelette, but also like a crepe. It's like an omelette crepe. And then we've got some sauces. Three different sauces, or maybe two different sauces. So I got butter, 
So I'm not sure how that's. They look exactly the same, don't they? Mm -hmm. Toss it in a massive burrito. Fuck, I don't know really how I'm gonna do this. And then I think you just grab it off. Oh, it's hot. Okay, I've done that wrong, guys. Uh, uh, no, no. Let me try that again. Let me try that again. This is what you're supposed to do. You rip that off and then you dip? And then dip ski. Alright, so, uh, that makes a lot more sense. Oh. This is good as I remember it. There we go. Not spicy at all. But you've got the crunchy and the liquidy flavor. Such an interesting texture. Honestly, guys, I'm going to be, wherever we go from now on, I'm going to be asking, do you have dosa? I want dosa. Dosa, get in my belly now. It's so Moorish as well. Like the little bites are just perfect. And uh, it's crunchy, like look how crunchy that is there. Oh, it's a perfect meal. I wonder if it's very healthy. I don't think so. We'll try this sauce. Maybe it's like a, a lighter sauce. Oh, it's uh, slightly thicker. Mm, thank you very much. It's like a coconutty uh, sauce. Banana seed. Banana? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, it's like a coconutty sweeter sauce. We got the, like the savory sauce and the sweeter sauce, I guess. And you just, I, I guess you just make your way through it, uh, slowly but surely. Grab a piece off, dip, maybe a little bit of double dip. Oh, you can't go wrong with doubling down. When you mix the two, it's the perfect combination. I'm 100% going to finish this. <laughs> and the spice has got him. <laughs> As you can see, guys, I absolutely hated it. Just kidding. It was absolutely incredible. I wouldn't have got the butter dosa next time, though. I think it was very good. But I like the vegetable... Um, potato curry in there. Potato curry that they have in it, yeah. Definitely better. But still an absolutely delicious meal. <laughs> and then... To finish it all off, we got a banana lassi with some, some flies. So it's a banana fly lassi. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Another lassi in process. Done. Kind of hard to drink that. Very thick texture, really nice. And you could really, really taste the banana, like very strong and uh, very nice very nice not like a banana smoothie where you just can't really taste it that was really really nice i have to say banana is so good very good for you gives you energy so i've got the old coffee wet oh, coffee yeah. just uh, put a little water in it cool down <laughs> mm. <sighs> we've got too much energy everyone else in this restaurant is just chilled out and we're like Ah! <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, so two doses, like five drinks, 480 rupees, which is $6.30 USD. Wow, if that's not good value, then I don't know what else is. Especially we are in, you know, slightly of a more touristic route. Although, as you can see, a lot of locals have come here. Sami says good food and cheap food, which is what we love to see. And that was absolutely delicious. So compliments to the chef, compliments to the restaurant, and yeah, we'll be on our merry way. Uh, feeling very full. That was actually first meal of the day at 1 p.m. So yeah, gonna fill us up for probably until the flight. I think we have a meal on the flight. So yeah. awesome, so absolutely sorted. Maybe a snack at the airport. Thank, Thank you. you very much, brother. Bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Nice to meet you, bye-bye. Onwards and upwards, my friends. Guys, we are arriving in Kochi, Kochi International Airport. Uh, it's been actually a very, very nice drive, very comfortable. The seats are extremely nice, it's been very, very luxurious. And um, I think, how much did we pay for this? 5,000. 5,000, so you know, it wasn't cheap, but at the same time, it was quite, quite a long distance we traveled. Didn't really want to get a bus when we've got a flight as well, so it was nice to have the luxury of having a car. Yeah here uh, at Sokochi and then we'll, uh, we'll get checked in and get on this flight. See here the solar panels um, and I actually found out this when I came here but I forgot to show you guys that this is the world's first solar powered airport which is really cool to see. India doesn't like come across to me as like the most, um, how do I put this? Uh, renewable like using renewable energy sources but this just goes to show that I was wrong 
and they are putting a lot of effort into renewable energy, which I really like to see. Oh, that's it's okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye. All right. Oh, it's nice and nice and cool in here. So the solar panels are working well today. Hello, Sire. Hello. We're gonna wake up the whole airport. What's what, what's the issue? Looks like we've arrived 13 minutes early, my friend. Ah, uh -huh. that's not like us to be early. Uh -huh. I know, right? We've got right. all this time to hang out here. So. Well, that means 13 laps of this terminal. Full speed ahead. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> all right, guys, so we're just waiting for a check-in. Like, uh, like I said, oh, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. That means uh, first, ones, first ones to check in gets an uh, upgrade to first class, I heard. Hello. Namaskaram. Namaskaram. Sukumano. Sukumano. Yeah? Suka? All right, guys, all checked in, and we're heading to the gate now, gate four. Um, flying with Air India, so I'm assuming that I haven't actually done any research into whether they're good or not, but first time flying with them, I'm assuming they're probably one of the better airlines, but we'll find out. And also, uh, on the way, we actually booked a hotel. So we, we've actually had a funny, a funny way of booking this hotel. Basically, I, I don't know if I mentioned, I was calling lots of hotels in Delhi to find out the Wi-Fi speeds. I found one with good Wi-Fi, 30, 30 megabytes. And Ali, our friend Ali, who's in Delhi at the moment, he went there today, found out how fast their Wi-Fi was and re verified it. And then we've all booked a room there. So we're gonna be staying at the Ambassador Hotel. Hopefully it's quite good. And yeah, gonna travel there now. All right, guys. Well, that has to be the most extensive security check I've ever had in my life. Mac is actually still there getting checked. Uh, for some reason they wanted to, well, they basically asked us every electronic metal or wire you have in your bag, can you take out? Which obviously for us is a lot of things. We said, okay, we're gonna be a while. And then there were still loads of things that got flagged. Uh, they made me remove an Allen key and they, they've, they've taken it. They've confiscated my Allen key. Don't know what I'm gonna do without it. And uh, yeah, we're probably there for at least half an hour. Mac also had his drone. He had to go and put his drone into checked luggage. Yeah, bit of a palaver. But at the same time, it's for our safety and they're doing it for a reason. So you can't really get mad. They were nice people. So yeah, it's not like they were annoying. They were nice people. Um, and also, they've also said that my bag has been flagged. So we're gonna go find out what the issue with that is. I have to go to gate eight. Okay, guys, so. We found out what the issue was. It was me and uh, I got taken away. They made me take everything out of my pockets and uh, they took me to a separate room. They interrogated me <laughs> and then they, they made me undress. Yeah. They did, honestly. Actually. Just, just my boxers. And then they were like- No way. Yeah, and they were like, can you pull down your pants? And they put a finger up. Liar. <laughs> but, uh, Wait, so did they make you go on your boxers? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> No, but, um, it was, they, they did do a pretty strict check of my bag and I had to, there were some batteries in there that they, they I was playing with the, I was playing with the drug dog, the <laughs> golden retriever. Very, very strict here in Kochi. It's the strictest airport I've ever been to by far. Would you say the same? Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it even beats Qatar and I thought Qatar was the strictest. Wow. Uh, so now we're going to treat ourselves by going to the lounge. Okay, Earth Lounge here. Yeah, it looks, looks rather nice. Namaskaram. Sukumano. Okay guys, we have been chilling in this lounge for a little while. Very nice, nice atmosphere, pretty quiet, and there's free food, free drinks. We've also got some beerio. Cheers, Cheers brother. <laughs> it's the Kingfisher Premium Strong. Oh yeah. It, it tastes a little strong. bit different to the to the normal premium. Mm -hmm. I I prefer the, the standard. I prefer the standard. But it, it's good. It's good. I'm not a big uh, plane spotter myself, but I it is nice to see them taking off and landing. Are you a plane stop plane oh, spotter? Yeah. What's oh. your what's your favorite might make a plane? Oh no, I just like watch them take <laughs> off and land. I don't actually know what they are. <laughs> my my favorite is the A380 because of the oh, aluminium okay. framing on them. Or the double decker? It's that's actually that's my favorite. The double decker. Yeah, yeah. I just don't know the name of the plane. No, I, I don't know the name either. If, if there's any plane spotters, then let me know which one the double decker is called. The Emirates double decker. That's a dream of mine to get a first class Emirates flight. I've never flown first class or business class. So one day, guys, one day. Let's see what we got for food: coffees, pastries, cookies, unhealthy 
curry, ooh, biryani, this please. More curry and soup. Okay, this looks divine. I'm gonna get some curry, I think. Been enjoying this meal. I got a little bit of biryani, a little bit of uh, curry, a little mix and match. It's good, it's not bad to be fair. It's uh, hitting the spot, a little bit spicy, but I like the Kerali style. And uh, the one annoying thing is that it all comes in the bone, but on the bone, sorry. Um, but it's just, I guess, how it is in India, and you just gotta get used to it. I think it retains a lot more of the flavor if you have it on the bone, so maybe I'll get used to it. That's good. Thank you, brother. See you soon. I have to say, this is actually a super cool airport. They've got like actual chairs instead of like those usual uncomfy chairs that you usually have to wet, sit on. Go, go, card. Hello? Ooh. Any Sri Lankan Namaskaram? Hi, sir. Sukumano. Huh? Sukumano. He's talking in uh, Malayalam. Sukumano. Oh, you speak Hindi? No, no, only Malayalam. Malayalam? Oh. It's all imported. That's why. Oh, okay. How much is the Galaxy? Do you, do you have any sweets that are uh, maybe a better? Uh, maybe it's 325. Same, 325. Okay, this is. this is. You have two flavors. So I've got caramel. That is also $3. Oh, is this $5? Is there anything else that's cheaper? Cheap. Uh, this is also two hundred. Amul only hazelnut. Ooh. Flavor. Is this like a well-known brand? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is there a golden ticket inside where I can no, go no, to no, no, Charlie no, Chocolate no, no. Factory? Only chocolate. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll take this. Let's try a piece of chocolate. <laughs> you said you would. Yeah. Well. All right. Do it. All right, guys. We're gonna be trying out the uh, little Indian chocolate. I need a chicken thigh. <laughs> That's the number one way how to get kicked out of an airport. All right. Let's see what this bad boy's about. I like the branding. Mm. Orange orange and brown. Mm. Richly nutty. Let's see if this uh, lives up to the expectations. All right, looking good. We got a little bit of almond in there. It's okay. Not the best chocolate I've ever had, but not the worst. I think the, the, the almonds add like a nice, nice taste to it, but Apart from that, I'd say it's like a 7 out of 10, maybe an 8 out of 10. Yeah, that's pretty good. But I need a chicken thigh! <laughs> yes, this is correct. Namaskram! <laughs> well, am I that scary? Chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never accept the chocolate from the guy's <laughs> Here is that guy offering chocolate. Chocolate? Come here! Namaskaram. Sukumano. Yes, sir. Good? Yeah. Acha? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello! Delhi, it's been a while. Okay, guys, we have here. We have here. We are here, even. It's been a long day, guys, as you can tell. It's been pretty much a full day of travel. So I'm ready to, uh, ready to get into my hotel room. I'm so ready for a bed. We've got a few more steps. Oh, we missed the bus, bro. We missed really? the bus. It's been a while. <laughs> we missed the bus. Okay, Namaskar. We're gonna make it on this one. Okay, say who? Acha? TK. I need one chicken pie, Delhi. Hello. Hello, my friend. Namaskar. Okay, say who? We are here. Hopefully, uh, not much of a security check. Um, we gotta get our bags. Max gotta get his, his drone back. Up and on deck away. No, <laughs> then we gotta get an Uber or a tuk tuk to the accommodation. It's gonna be interesting. I've heard there's uh, gonna be some some scammers about trying to give us a high price, but there'll be no match. We've got the bargaining skills of a local Indian. Yeah. You can call me Paisab. Paisab. Paisab is what you say to like a respectful bro. Oh. Wow. Oh wow. This is beautiful. So one thing I actually like really stands out to me is that every single Indian airport I've been to is super modern, super clean, and like they all have, they've put a lot of effort into it, you can tell. Like it's super, super nice. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but do you know what this is? It's beautiful. Uh, these are yogic um, mudra, this is called mudra. Hindu? Just chess. Okay. Oh wow. It's very nice. Zabadast. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you. 
Ah, uh, they, they have Hamneys here everywhere. It's a, what are they? It's an English, oh, it's a British toy brand. That was in London back in the 1760s. Hell yeah. Wow. That was when you were born, wasn't it? Yeah, roughly, <laughs> you know, give or take 10 years. <laughs> yeah, guys, as we wait for our baggage, I'd say that that flight was nice. Decent amount of leg room, which was really good. And, you know, just three hours. There was a meal, but I didn't actually have it because I wasn't I wasn't hungry. I wasn't going to waste food. Um, but yeah, it was decent. Like, not, not, not the best flight I've ever had, not the worst flight. I'd say like a 7 out of 10. And, uh... Now we just gotta get an Uber to or a taxi to the hotel. It's like 30 minutes away. Um, so the thing is now we just negotiate a price. I looked on Uber and it's like 600 rupees. So we'll see see how, how much the taxis are. They're probably gonna be a lot more expensive, but half the fun is finding out and getting on the journey. So I'm excited. We'll check in and we've also got a special guest at the hotel, which some of you may or may not know, but uh, you have to wait and find out. Oh wow, I like, I like the Ferrari, nice car. Wow, he's got a very important job to collect all the trolleys. Okay, uh, now we've got to find a taxi. Here they are. Oh, how we doing? Should we, should we inquire? Ambassador. Ambassador Hotel? Yeah. In Sujan Singh Park? Yeah. Yes. Two How people? Much? Two people. 950 rupees only. Oh, almost gave me a heart attack. Oh my god. Whew. On Uber, on Uber is 600, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I think my, my reaction to him scared him off. He was like, oh, he's not worth it. <laughs> Namaskar. Namaskar. Kaise ho? Badiya, sir. Acha? Acha, Um, Ambassador Hotel? Sorry? Ambassador Hotel. Ambassador Hotel. Yeah. Show me your address, please. Which place? Yeah, Namaskar. Brother, how much? Wait, we need a Kid, price. Kidney oh. rupee. 800. No, brother. Including parking. We, we just... We, we're, just looking, we're looking for the small 600, one to 600. Brother. Yes. Then you pay parking. 600, they parking. 150 rupees. It's 8, fine. We, we get the prepaid taxi. Same one, sir. I have prepaid It's not the same. You have, you show that like 600, 600 plus the parking charges you pay the whole It's also. okay. Thank you. So how much you pay? 600. We pay. <laughs> parking in my, for my problem. Okay, that's problem. No problem. Pay the parking charges 150. That's it. Brother, <laughs> I've heard it all before. No, really, really affordable. I, I, I don't know. I, oh. 700, okay? 700? Everything, everything TK. Everything TK? No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know whether to believe you or not believe you. So, because otherwise I... Otherwise you believe me, so you pay. Otherwise don't believe you, don't. I drop you. So I will go to Delhi. Same Delhi yeah, prepaid. It's okay, thank you. Uh, one Uber to, or one uh, taxi to uh, Ambassador Hotel, please. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the small one. 450? Deal. So there we go, guys. Just goes to show, you can't trust anyone. I'm sure he was a nice guy, but 700 is way too much. Uber was saying 600, and even that was too much. We ended up getting it for 450. We did have to wait maybe two minutes longer. Um, so always, when you're arriving at a hotel, try and get the prepaid taxi. Namaskar. Kiseho. For me? Yes. How much? No, 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 no. Huh? You drink, you drink. What's in it? Red. You drink. You sure? Yes. There's nothing, there's nothing, no drugs in it? Ooh. You want some? That's how you get Delhi Belly. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, by the way, guys, I also went against my number one rule. Well, <laughs> they say don't drink or take food off a stranger. Well, I just did that. But sometimes you just gotta go with your instinct. My instinct says, drink that Gatorade. Namaskar. Namaskar. Okay, so? Acha. Probably, uh, no, nothing in the boot? The boot not in use today? Taking the day off? Aapka naam ke hai? Ranjan. Ranjan? Yeah. Nice to meet you. From, from Delhi? Yeah, from Delhi. Oh yeah, nice place. Ambassador. Huh? Ambassador Hotel? Hotel. Yes. On, on the market. Uh, Kunal Market. Yes. Shukriya. As we're driving through Delhi so far, I have to say, I obviously haven't seen too much, but it looks really nice to be fair, like very green. Uh, maybe we're on like a slightly nicer road, but it's like very, very clean so far. I had no idea what to expect, uh, but I assumed it being such a huge city, 
it would be you know kind of more crazier than this also it's like uh it's only 11 o'clock now so it's not going to be that busy but uh maybe people are getting ready for holy because that is actually tomorrow they all check on the car namaskar hello Ooh, i need a kingfisher akash yeah. it's been a while how are you kso acha Okay, we all we all set. You need my passport. What is this picture? Where is this? This is an ancient Roman bath. Oh, it's not in Delhi. Oh, I was like, I want to go there tomorrow. Here he is. Here he is. How are you, bro? What's good? My son, how are you doing? Good. You look nice, you look nice. We are justified in saying it's been a while. It's been a while, sir. Have you been to this place in Delhi? No, no, no. It's like just opened, like the new uh, infinity pool. <laughs> Honestly, it's definitely not Rome. It's Let's definitely go. not Rome. You been there, bro? Never been, bro. Yeah, we should go tomorrow. That's on the rooftop, bro. <laughs> Built in 1947, uh, celebrates the blend of British colonial and I don't know what oh, Lutins. So it's a mix. Oh, it's a heritage building. Wow. We're staying in an old building where the British Army used to live. Just stay, so we're gonna be pretending like we're the army. 315, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> See you never, sire. Goodbye, sire. Get ready for King Cush, it's about three minutes. <laughs> and here we go. 314. Is this you, Ali? Oh, you're down there, okay. Oh, you can, I can tell it's an old building. It's got that smell. It's not a bad smell. It's just like got that smell that's like slightly older, um, and also the fact that you don't have to put your key card in, which is also a good thing because it means that the power should be running when I have my key card out. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll show you the room. We got the perfect place for me to leave my bag. Nice open top. I like that. It's almost like a mix between old and new. And that's for the vibe I'm getting for. The, the dark wood definitely gives it that old vibe, but you can tell it's very clean. Got a huge TV there, comfy bed. And boy, do I need this bed. Oh. Hello? Hello, Sire. Hi. Thank you very much. What up, can I come here? Kishan. Kishan? Yes. Thank you very much. And let's try out the bed. Oh, it's a hard bed, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but. Usually I like soft beds, but it's a hard bed is fine. Very soft pillows, some nice paintings and nice mirror, big open space, nice little sofa for me to do some work as well as an actual desk for me to do work. And then you can tell this is the part that's probably been redone. They've got a nice little bathroom area, your standard stuff. You guys already know I might actually have a shower because I, I have had a shower today, but feeling a little bit dirty after like how long is it like probably seven hours eight hours of travel maybe maybe longer um yeah, and also basically guys we have a balcony out there but you can't see anything so i'll show you guys in the morning but all around i'd say this is a really nice room you can tell it's very old even with the aircon in here it's like very very old but that's not a bad thing i would say i would uh i would say first impressions are very good the main reason we've we've chosen this hotel is because of the certified dank wi-fi and i'll prove that to you guys now when i show you the wi-fi okay guys and so here we go we have the wi-fi 28 download 28 upload that is pretty good uh that's what they said it would be around 30 and they were right so i'm very happy with that i think you know i called so many hotels and they said like between one and ten so to get this is very good and I'm very pleased because that means I can upload some vlogs for you guys and I'm not gonna miss a day, daily upload. So yeah, very happy. All right, we are in search for the bar. Bar Kaha Hai. Doesn't it surprise me the British lads leading us to the bar. <laughs> Hello? Hello. I'm looking for a beer. These, these oh. like, these, uh, oh, these things on the sorry. wall are really nice. Hello? Hello? That looks really pretty in there. That's a super bright bar. Oh, that's a yellow brick road. Ooh. Wow. DJ? Hello? Hello? Can I, can I talk? Cheers, guys. Oh, 
Please get slammed. Ah. <laughs> I'm tempted. Should I? <laughs> Ooh. That's nice. Very unique bottle. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you brother. brother. Nice to meet you. See you soon. And so guys, uh, yeah, we just had some nice drinks, but we got a very, uh, let's just put it this way. We were very surprised when we got the bill. It turns out that those beers were, oh, those beers were $10 each. Um, so $40 for four beers. Wow. Yeah, two each for so, us. So yeah, that was wow. expensive. It looks like we're going to have to get a job here. I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> Nonetheless, it was really good, uh, really nice barman, really nice manager. Oh, and, uh, there's the, there you need to add that part in, bro. Next oh. time we go, buy one, get one, six to eight. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's how you know the markup's pretty high if they can afford to buy one, give one away. Still $5. Yeah, yeah, still five a pop. That's still expensive. Okay. Still five times the price. As you can see on the here. MSRP, 65 bone skis. 65 rupees to buy it. They bought it and they're, they're charging us 600 rupees. Well. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna finish the video there. Had an awesome day traveling all the way from Kerala, Kerala to Delhi. It's been a very long day, long travel time, but I'm glad to be in Delhi. I'm really happy to be here, and I'm excited to show you guys more of Delhi. And yeah, nice hotel to start off with. I'm really, really tired, so I'm gonna fall straight asleep right now. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm making daily videos all the way through India, and so I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.